Hi everyone, we are going to be making a mini gingerbread house. The first thing you want to make sure is that you have all the pieces that you need. You need two taller pieces that go on the ends that have triangles at the top, and then you need four regular square sizes. I find it's a little helpful if you run a little bit of frosting on the bottom to sort of get the end to stand up a little bit. So I'm just gonna hold this right like that. And it's it, it's not gonna stand up completely on its own, but at least you'll get it to stabilize a little bit. And then what you're going to do is, is you're going to run a little bit along the edge here. Only up to the top right there, don't go past that. And my frosting is a little cold, so it's a little harder to squeeze out. It won't be cold when we're making them at school though, so that should be good. So then what you wanna do then is you wanna put your sides on. You do wanna make sure though that they're running up and down and not horizontally. You wanna make sure that they're up vertically like that. So then you take the edge and you put it right along there. And then you take your other edge and you're gonna put it right along here. And you can see how it pretty much stands up so far. And then what you wanna do then is you wanna take your other triangular piece, run more frost, frosting just down the edge like this. You can lay it down, that'd probably be easier. And again, you see I'm not doing a whole lot of frosting at this point. I'm just putting some on the edge to get it to stick together. If you want to run a little more along the, f the floor of the house, you can do that. And that just helps stabilize it. So then you take it just like this. And you're just going to very gently squeeze it together here. And you can see it is standing on its own, completely on its own. Then you're gonna put the roof on. And again, we're gonna run a little bit of frosting right along the edge. So then when we put the roof on, the roof is going to be horizontal. Okay, so the sides and the roof are a little bit different. So you wanna make sure that they're sort of lined up at the top. The, the roof will overhang on the sides a little bit. And again, this is where you kinda of have to squeeze everything together. Same thing on the other side here. You're gonna squeeze everything together just very gently and it should all hold because this frosting is pretty sticky. And then what I always do is immediately I run some frosting right along the top here because that will ensure that the top is held together. And then you can see it's pretty much staying up on its own. And then the last thing I do before I start decorating is I run a little bit all along the perimeter of the house just so that way it's just going to stabilize it a little bit more to make sure that it is standing up. And that's it. And then I wait for it to dry and then it's time to decorate. Good luck.